Good day, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video I want to show you how to print a date range in Project Libre. You open your project and then you go to view, view tab on top and then you go to yeah, the other views subsection and click on report and here yeah, on report you will get various, you will get four reports on resource information, task information, etc. Go then to a task information, click on task, and when you have your task information, you can also set specifically what type of information you want regarding your report. If you want a summary, or if you want, for example, uh, earned value, cost constraint, baseline, whatever. And then you filter your report, you go to filter, and in the filter element, there are many filters, you go here to date range. The duration of this project is from the 1st of January to the a few months in 2021. So let us just stay for from January the 1st for example February 1st of February okay and there you can see there are two elements similarly you can go on and uh, first uh, no filter and whenever there is the possibility that you can have an, a data range You have earned value, earned cost, etc. Wherever there is a possibility that there is a data range, here in this resource information there is no data ranges. In the uh, what it does, the CV here is a data range. You can, of course, have a base report, a science report, whatever. And then you go to the filter. Here is no filter for the data range. And then also in terms of resource information, uh, excuse me, uh, the uh, project details, here's no filters available. The only filters in terms of time constraints and in terms of the time date ranges that you can have is in the task information and then uh, whatever you select here, you then go to the date, select date range. In this case, let us then perhaps make the date a little bit broader to the first of the fourth month. And there it is. If you wanted to look at this uh, data and want to print it, perhaps in one page, you can, yeah, you can have how you can look at your data, how you can view it as one page. The challenging thing with Project Libris reports is that you cannot uh, further determine it all and, and that it also does not print well, on my print at least, maybe on your print it is better. I find it better to save the report as a PDF and here you go then, there's various ways how you can save it. I save it as a PDF give it a name for example give it a name save it and uh, as a pdf print it in as a pdf but per se if you just want to print it like this sometimes it cuts off a piece or whatever Another way to print a data uh, within a data range is simply to go to view and then in view, general view, you apply the filter, whatever filter you want, completed task. You can also, then since we're busy with the data range, go to data range. Put 
put in there, in this case, I want from the first month to the third month. To the second month. And here are the projects in this date. And uh, what you then do is ask in the third month. Then if you want to print this, go to this print better. Simply then go to the file. And here go to print submenu, print preview. And uh, okay. And there you can see it. You can also insert it other columns here. You could have done that. And in this case, just the say you don't want the, the Gantt chart. And then all you do is you print the section. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like, share, and subscribe.